Market Outlook, Matt Buckley, the Chief Investment Strategist here at Wealth Creation Investing. And before I get into uh, what's going on uh, this Monday, make sure you check your email. We're going to be doing a uh, platform demonstration after the market closes today at 4.30. Don Pradle from Trade Monster is going to be joining us to show us uh, some of their live action tools or volatility scanners or unusual call and put volume scanners uh, to really help you uh, ident uh, identify and potentially place profitable trades using the, uh, the Trade Monster platform. Even if you trade with somebody else, I strongly recommend and you come and take a look at this uh, at, at the Trade Monster platform demonstration at 4.30 p.m. Like I said, check your uh, email. Uh, what's going on today? Market pulled back. Uh, we're off our lows. We're down about 50 points at the open. What's going on? Stocks are dropping on some news out of China. The Chinese government, God bless them, actually are doing something good. They're trying to pull the speed, uh, put a speed break out on their housing market. Awesome. Wish we would have done that before our market imploded in 2008. So market reacting kind of negatively to this, but I think that's one of the reasons we're pulling off our lows here is because it's not that bad of news. I mean, requiring more of a down payment on uh, and, and raising interest rates on secondary mortgages and, and trying to tamp down a housing boom is a good thing. So, you know, again, in bizarro market, sometimes good things can be bad things. But uh, we're going to wallow around here for a little bit. Uh, folks, I, I, I think we move sideways uh, in uh, for the rest of the week and put a couple trades on in our uh, weekly options live trading session this morning. On uh, on Apple and go you know put a trade on Apple this morning it's already up about two hundred and seventy bucks it's over with for Apple folks uh, this thing's going to be heading downhill great month uh, look at this uh, February in our weekly options model portfolio folks fourteen thousand dollars in gains averaging uh, uh, you know about ten fifteen thousand dollars in risk per week and last week was just absolutely a ginormous week in the model portfolio in our weekly options model portfolio look at this guys. Uh, nearly $7,000 in profits last week on $15,000 in risk in the weekly options model portfolio. What's that mean? If all three trades, Google, SPX, and Apple, had completely imploded last week, the most we I could have potentially lost in this paper trading account was $15,000. Worst case scenario, of course, I would have ejected way before that and managed those trades, but just saying worst, worst case scenario. But look at that. Nearly a, what's that, a 45, 46% gain in a week, guys. Uh, you have got to give the weekly option service a, a test flight. Go to topgunoptions.com slash weekly uh, options to get airborne. What's going on the rest of the week, guys? Big week towards the end. This is why I bring up the weekly options trades is because we're going to move laterally. Monday, yawn. Tuesday, yawn. Wednesday, uh, you know, factory orders. Okay, I'll wake up to that. Thursday, ADP jobs numbers. Uh, and then Friday, big day in the market, guys. Obviously, the uh, non-farm payroll, the unemployment rate, and average hourly earnings. Wholesale inventories, uh, you know, potentially market moving as well. But the market, I believe, moves laterally. Uh, the rest of the week uh, into the jobs report. So we're going to kind of see this porridge market, right? Not too hot, not too cold. Again, seeing that 1500 level on the SPX acting like a magnet, really not racing away from it. And when we get below it, not staying below it for too long. So uh, I'm actually working a, a weekly iron condor on the SPX right here, the 1400, uh, I'm sorry, the 1490 short puts and the 1435s are the short calls of our iron condor, 1485 puts, 1540 calls are the hedges or the outriggers of that trade and looking uh, at a dollar 13 to try and get filled on that uh, huge bid ask uh, obviously on the SPX so uh, I usually have to go a little underneath that to get filled on that but uh, good stuff going on here at Topkin Options not good stuff going on in the market obviously sequestration last Friday non-event Obama realized that he kind of looks foolish running around playing chicken little that uh, planes were going to fall out of the sky because 85 billion dollars in spending <gasps> God forbid, is going to hit the government. Folks, $85 billion is what Bernanke is printing in a month. Apparently, the president doesn't know what's going on underneath him, but his Fed chief is printing $85 billion a month in funny money. And the president's head's going to fall off because we're going to see $85 billion in cuts to government spending. Come on, dude. Grow up for God's sakes. Um, so we're going to move laterally, guys, uh, the rest of the week. And I think we move laterally as we uh, uh, start heading into the budget fight, right? We have a budget uh, debate coming up March 27th. The continuing resolution expires. And uh, again, God forbid, gasp that Harry Reid does his job. And for the first time in four years, we get a budget passed. Not holding my breath. It's going to get ugly. I think we're going to see volatility uh, start to rise a little bit and the market start to give a little bit back as we start to head in uh, into that debate. VIX kind of flat. 
uh, for the past week, uh, but we did see a, 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 a pretty nice spike in volatility, and it gave most of that back. So I think we wall around as far as volatility here as well, but slowly start to see this increase and spike around the uh, debt debate and then sell off. Okay, got to run. Uh, happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll be back with uh, Top Gun Options. Market sit rep uh, tomorrow morning. We'll see you.